guys, so today's video will be how to start an online business. I've been running my business for two years, December, May, two years. And my store is called Bourgeois Boutique. Uh, we cater to slim thicks, curvy, plus size, and all that jazz. So actually, the business is run by me and my mother. I run the slim thicks, thick side. She runs the curvy, voluptuous plus size side. <laughs> so, prior to starting this business, I did a lot of research. I did a lot of research on YouTube, online. I even took a few business classes to, before I can know the ins and outs of running a business. My mom, she has her own business. She started, she is an event coordinator and event, all that good stuff. So, anyway. So we decided to do it together. Um, all the clothes on the site is for women who thick women who love to show off their curves, like me. Um, I love showing off my curves. Um, it took me a while to build the confidence. It's always not on that. So when you go on my site, you'll see that it's a lot of sexy clothes, a lot of club attire, and if you get to know me, you know that I love to get dressed up, I love going out, I love having, you know, a social life. <laughs> I'll have a link in the description box and a coupon code for you guys to check it out. So let's get into this. Okay, okay so your first step is, well, my first thing that I did was I signed up with LegalZoom. And that's when I got my business license and my sales permit through them. Um, I paid about two hundred or two hundred fifty dollars, and you have to pay every year after you pay sign up. You have to pay every year. So um, basically, LegalZoom they give you the tools of how to run a what else, how to run a business. I guess um, they give you your deadlines of we we have to pay something for the government, or even when you have to. Um, sign papers and stuff and they give you they give you your EIN number and all that so the next step is getting the website now I do suggest that you do some type of research um I went through what well, the site that I go through now is VIX I'm not saying I'm pronouncing it right it's W-I-X dot com I know two people that have them so, so since they they had us, I'm like, okay, if you guys have them, it should be good enough for me, right? So I signed up for them. Um, I think I paid. I don't remember. They always have some kind of fifty percent. They always have like fifty percent off deal. Um, that, but you have to pay them annually, of course. And so I can't remember how much I paid to start up, but the next year I had to pay one ninety four. So, I don't really suggest that you guys go to VIX. I don't. I didn't have the great experience, but I'm still with them because I haven't found anyone better yet. I actually, I haven't been really doing research about a different website. But the reason why I don't like VIX is on two different occasions, two different empl uh, customers contacted me and said they had problems purchasing through the website, and that's a big problem for me. Big problem. And another thing that I found that's a problem with this website is something is always something that says unavailable, and I think that's a that's another problem. It's always something that says not available. Come tr try it later. So find a good website. You have your website. You have your business. Your wholesale license. Now let's start with finding a wholesaler. Now wherever city you live in you can also look online and you can find it when they have a fashion show or when they have or you can look up for wholesalers that's in your city it's better to have a wholesaler that's in your city so you can always go to that location fill it you can fill it and see if this the material is thin if it's see-through sheer and all that stuff and I forgot to say that about the seller present when I go down to my the wholesaler the first time I went None of the wholesalers that I went to asked for my seller's my seller ID. But well, my seller, I'm sorry, my seller's permit. None of them asked. So, so I'm thinking like, should you get it or not? So, <laughs> the only time I have to show my seller ID is when I shop online. 
So when I shop online, in order to see the prices or to even to, um, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> to purchase, you need your seller ID. I mean, sell it. Why can't you say seller's permit? <laughs> okay, so now let's talk about promoting. That's how we can get customers to your online store. And I'm still having, I'm still a little bit struggling with this. I'm, my sales are not where I want them to be, but I try literally every day to get customers to my site. But okay, so by promoting, let me tell you one thing. Um, while I was doing my research, I did. Of course, I told you I went to YouTube and I saw this girl who sold hair online, and she's a YouTuber too. Um, oh. When I was doing my research prior to starting my business, I did research on YouTube, like I said in the beginning. So I came across this YouTuber who has her own hair hair shop or whatever, online hair. Um, she was doing a video on how she started and all that good stuff. And I sent her a comment and I said, how do you get customers, right? And she said, promoting, right? And I just hate, that was so vague promoting you know what I mean like okay I don't have well in the beginning I didn't have a lot of followers and I didn't have a lot of people on my Instagram I still don't but I'm still you know I've, I've been building ever since I started okay so promoting is so vague it doesn't tell you anything you get it so I was kind of upset about that because I feel like it's enough money for every everyone to be rich in this world so why can't you help another you know a, another entrepreneur that's how whatever so this is what I do for promoting myself and I feel like it does work but okay let me tell you what I do so social media of course I try to promote every day on social media I try to post at least um, an item from my store or a picture of me in a dress or doing the, I love doing videos to so snapchat so and then that's how I promote online thank you guys so much for watching my video I hope that my tips encourage anyone who is contemplating whether or not they should start their own business one thing that I did forget to mention in the video is if you are working do not quit your job continue to work I still work at my job um, it helps pay for the bills, it helps pay for the inventory, and all that jazz. I feel you should work until you no longer have to worry about cash. <sighs> okay, so that being said, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. I have